So we learned in the previous video that if alpha is the root, then the uh, gradient of the function of f at alpha has to be between uh, minus 1 and 1 in order for us to be able to converge to that root. And remember, this is once we've already rearranged the equation into the form y equals f of x. So it's the gradient of that function there. So let's say um, we've got, we've rearranged to get x equals f of x, and we've sketched y equals x and y equals f of x, and these are four examples. What is going to happen when I start at particular values of x? Okay, what diagrams am I going to draw? So if I start here, for example, on this first one, this is my x0, then the way to draw a staircase or cobweb diagram is to start for the curve and then the line. So curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. So do it alphabetically, curve then line. So you go up to the curve, then to the right to the line. So you're going as either left or right to wherever the line is. Curve, line, curve, line, curve, line. And so we are homing in on that point there. So this is a staircase because it makes that staircase motion. Staircase diagram. And we are converging. Okay, we're converging upon that point. Now, if we start uh, this curve, okay, let's say we start here. That's my x0 this time. Then I go up to the curve. Then I go to the line. So I'm going always left or right to the line. Curve, line, curve, line, curve, line. So you can see I'm actually homing in on that point there. And that's because the gradient of the curve here is between minus 1 and 1. But over here, it's greater than 1. So if I was to instead start here, just to the right of that point, then if I go up to the curve, then to the line, then all the way up to the curve again, I can see that actually, although this is a staircase diagram, at this point, okay, I am diverging. If I start at that point. If I start here, I am converging. Okay? So let's have a look at these two. Now, if I was to start, uh, let's say at this point here, as my x0, then I would go up to the curve, then to the line, then to the curve, then to the line, then the curve, then the line. And you can see I am homing in, going around uh, the point. Okay? So this point here would be known as a cobweb diagram. And you can see that I am converging here. Okay? So if I started over here, I go up to the curve, then to the line, curve, line, curve, line, and I would still home in on that point. Okay? Now, um, if I was to try and home in on that point there, well, I can't because the gradient of the curve is above 1 at that point. Let's have a look at this one. Um, so this one, if I start here, for example, here's my x0, I go up to the curve, then I go to the line, then I go up to the curve, and then I go along to the line. And you can see I'm getting further and further and further away. You know, if I start a little bit closer, I start there, I go up to the curve, line, curve, line, curve, line, curve, line, curve, line, curve, line. And you can see that I'm going further and further out each time. Okay? And so this is also a cobweb diagram. This time, I'm diverging. Okay? Now, what have you noticed as to when you get a staircase, when do you get a cobweb? Well, it all depends on the gradient of the curve of f of x um, at those points, at the roots. 
Um, if it is negative, then you are getting these cobweb diagrams. And if it is positive, then you are getting staircase diagrams. That doesn't mean to say that at certain points you can't get a variety because if you started up here, okay, then it looks to be starting like a staircase, but then it can start to go round and become a cobweb. Okay? So it might staircase towards the root, but then turn into a cobweb diagram. Okay? So there are different varieties that you can meet. But this is the main concept behind the differences between staircase and cobweb diagrams.